like a second and just you know Anyway, this is about confidence. Confidence is key. This is for men and women, but this this uh, confi- this confidence video is strictly for women, okay? I'll get to the men, and I'm going to be honest, the video that I'm going to do for the men is going to be different because I don't know what it takes to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a man, okay? I have a dominant side, okay? I'm a very alpha female, okay? But I'm not like, you know, I'm not one of them hardcore, you know what I'm saying? I'm a I'm a feminine person, okay? So I can tell a woman how to get her confidence up, okay? Because I am a woman. But uh, the next video for men is going to be about how to attract a woman like me, okay? So, and what women like me like and desire. And I can only give that because this is my experience, okay? So, let's get right into it, ladies. Like, I'm so excited. I love the women. First of all, I love women, (laughs) okay? (laughs) Let me take a sip on that (laughs) so um a lot of women think I've always been this confident I always had the core uh energy here but it was always like there was a lot of trials and tribulations okay let me let me take a sip of water with that uh so I'm not gonna waste time because I'm gonna get straight into it I'll talk a little bit at the end if I have time I've been got it that these messages need to be like 15 under underneath 20 minutes so let me get into it okay so ladies, confidence is key, like how I lost my confidence and how to regain it, we'll talk about that, but I'm going to get into why it is important to be confident, why is confidence even needed, okay? I have four things written down and I have some tips at the end, and if I have some time, I'll talk, okay? Number one, number one reason why confidence is important, okay? You need to know thyself, I have this tattooed on me. You need to know thyself before, okay, it was a connection issue, but we're going to keep it going like nothing happened, okay? You need to know thyself before someone tells you who you are, or someone projects who they think you should be onto you, because if you don't know you, someone else is going to tell you who you are, and that immediately shuns you out of your power, immediately, you become weak, immediately, like immediately. No matter how much money you have, no matter what family, what bloodline you have, you give away your power when you don't know yourself. It is important for you to feel confident because then you know who you are. No place, no person, no thing will come in and alter that. I put on here, allowing someone to do so strips you from your power. It automatically makes you lose your gifts, even the gifts that God gave you. You lose that. You don't know yourself, so you don't know what your weaknesses or your strengths are. I said you'll be used for the rest of your life. You will be used because you then become like a source of energy either for other people, which we're going to get into, okay? Number two, why it is uh, important to, to have confidence? It is your main source of how you manifest. If all... Uh, it's where your, your wishing well is. It's your vitality. It's your source of where your vitality comes from. It's your source of how you manifest. Like, all of that energy comes from that. A lot of people want to say co- uh, Christ consciousness or whatever. It's the yellow energy. The citrusine. It's where your vitality comes from, which is connected to willpower. But I think that's number three that I have written down. No, it's actually number two. It's your will. It's connected to your willpower. Yes, you can have confidence, but you also have to have the energy and the strength to actually put effort into doing your hair or feeling good about yourself or promoting your business or doing, you know, whatever it is that you do. That vitality goes with that will, but it is your main source of how you manifest. That energy is, it's almost like uh, it gives me a train came to my mind. You know, once the train keeps going, it, it, it builds momentum. It's your momentum. It's your, it's where... Uh, your ideas and creativity is manifested from okay so that was number two number three uh it can affect your willpower um i put on here that i fancy myself around the house i dress up play music drink wine to get me into that i have right here an 85 percent rule if i now listen your confidence is not going to be 100 all the time okay i need some yo so 
that that's just giving me too much playful energy okay i apologize you guys i i, I just the music gotta be right okay that's it right here okay <clears throat> i give i gave myself an 85 percent rule and just me personally that's just my thing okay so you can set whatever you know percent percent uh percentage that's good for you but for me what i'm talking about is when i see myself like not really feeling myself or you know what i'm saying i'm not really feeling pretty 85 percent is what i'm giving myself you're not always going to feel confident 100 percent. okay it's just, we're humans okay it's you know what i'm saying give yourself a little you know find yourself be aware of when you feel like you're kind of slacking oh i haven't done my hair or whatever you know what i'm saying if your hair's not done wrap it up do something, you know, put lipstick on. I have literally no makeup on my face but lipstick. That's it. For women who like to do makeup, yes, baby, do your makeup because don't let these men out here tell you that that's not something you should do. Makeup builds a woman's confidence. It makes her feel beautiful. You do need to love yourself with and without it, but, you know, do your thing. Whatever makes you feel good. If you need to wear makeup every day until you, until you get to the point where you can love yourself, then do that. Do what you need to to make yourself feel good, okay? self first okay number three confidence is needed because it's tied to your purpose and without confidence you'll feel yourself in a loopity loop okay a case of can't get right okay and especially when it's tied to your money because money is a frequency okay so this all comes together because your purpose is what brings in your flow of abundance and if you don't feel confident in yourself, you can't do what it is that God wants you to do on this earth. You will never fulfill your purpose because you'll always keep thinking that you're not good enough. You'll always keep second guessing your gifts. You'll always keep thinking that somebody's better. Oh, this person's already doing it. I don't need to do it. Whatever the case may be, you won't be able to fulfill your purpose on earth that you are supposed to do. Your soul's mission. You won't be in alignment with your assignment. Shout out to Lulu. So, and then with that being said, your money won't flow. Whether or not you want what well, you got spiritual gifts or whatever, whatever the, the, your talent is, even if you wanted to stay in corporate your whole life, you won't rise. You'll stay stagnant with your money because then your confidence shows in your worth ethic. It shows in how you treat people and whatever it is that you do. Even if you don't have to talk to people for a living and you're fixing houses, you won't be the best Bob the Builder, okay? he or she whatever you know what i'm saying whatever it is that you do you won't be the best because you don't even feel good about yourself so you know what i'm saying it's just going to affect your work um and again it's tied to money so money is a frequency so if you already don't feel good about yourself you're not going to feel good that you can even attract a certain amount of money uh can i get a ring on that all right so number four you might be surrounded around some people that don't have confidence. And if you're still in the midst of working on your confidence, if you um, don't have confidence right now, your confidence will be attacked, whether or not you know it or whether or not they know it. Some people hate on you, don't even know they hate on you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, girl, what up? You know, the favorite saying is, girl, what I, what I got to hate on you for? Oh, red flag, okay? But standing in your power a lot of times will trigger other people around you if you're around other people. I'm not saying you can't hang around these people, but if you see people getting complacent and stagnant, nine times out of ten, they're going to be in that same place when you keep growing. And then by the time you circle around, you're growing. It's a problem. It's going to trigger them whether or not they want to admit it or not. Like It's just that comes with the territory of it. Because when you start standing in your power, it, it's a light. It's illumination. And it's going to shed a light subconsciously or consciously with them is going to happen so watch the company you keep it's good to be surrounded with other women who are confident as well again not saying that because i you know i'm cool with girls who are not that confident and that's cool because i've been there i know what it's like but as long as they're putting in the work you see you know what i'm saying be very observant have discernment who you hang around because then that can that can lead into people leeching off of your energy you know, you got all this vitality. You're so beautiful. I used to hang around a lot of women like that, like, would throw a lot of shade. I'm like, why are you wearing that? Or why are you doing that? I'm like, because I like it. Baba. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, I wouldn't even say nothing. But I'm like, note it, sis. <laughs> note it. So watch the company you keep, women, because it will affect your, your confidence. It'll start 
off in smart like little ass comments like oh oh you wore them shoes yesterday or you know what i'm saying it'll just be little jabs like that you have to listen i i, I pay, i'm a virgo we pay attention to detail i watch how people talk to me their body language how they say it the timing if they repeat it themselves everything we document everything even if it's not by pencil and pen which i do but i take a mental note of everything that's being said not saying you have to do that but just be very observant of even family members okay okay um and then i put at the bottom confident uh vamping off of your creativity they project their insecurities because again when you start feeling when you're when let's say you start practicing self-care and you're starting to love yourself it's really going to make people feel some type of way. They're going to be thinking like, wait, where, what are we, why do you think you all this, where all this confidence come from? You weren't like this before. It'll, be, it'll become an issue. Anytime you start making different changes around people who are comfortable with being stagnant, it, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to raise some rowdy. It's going to be rowdy. Okay? Just just be alert. Okay? Be very alert and very, very, I said very, looking like a fairy over here. <laughs> be very observant. Okay? Okay, so at the end, that was the four things, okay? I might do a part two if women want me to or, you know what I'm saying? But at the bottom, I put um, some tips. I'm giving like two or three tips on how, you know, to balance your confidence because that's very much needed and how to boost your confidence, okay? I put balance your confidence between your head and your heart, okay? And what that mean it means is, you know, there's people who are very egotistic. Some people think, oh, bitch, I'm better than you. Like, no, that's not it. Uh, and the energy that I wear on myself is that I feel good about myself. I don't think I'm better than you. I might be better than the shit that you do, but I don't think I'm better than nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think I'm better than anybody. So, it's making sure that you don't get too eager, caught up in yourself, but be very confident from a very graceful place. Being grateful that you feel good about yourself. And how you can do that is, uh, I just gave like something I just, just thought of this off the dome of my head. So giving compliments to others when you feel good about yourself. So today I feel really good about myself. So when I go to the store, don't lie. Okay, don't just make up a compliment. Give it to someone. Be truthful. If you, if you don't think they're attractive, say, oh, I like your shoes, girl. Where you get those? You know what I'm saying? Pass along that confidence in that way because it, it just helps to balance out the energy because it's that giving and receiving. It's a balance, okay? So when you feel exalted and when you feel so confident, give, give some old clothes away that used to make you feel good. It might not be nothing to you, but for someone who may, may not have the clothes, give away some old clothes, some old shoes or something, okay? Give. When you feel confident, give that confidence to other women. The women out here beating people's faces, that, my friend, is how those, those type of women balance out their energy. Um, I also put rejection is protection, and it's not a reflection of your self-worth. That's a really big thing. That's something I had to learn because anytime, listen for my men who are listening to this, and if you rejected me, you know, after I felt rejected, because people were like, you get rejected? I'm like, yes, I've been rejected before. And initially, because of who I am, my thought is, how you gonna reject me? Do you not know who I am? But then if I, if I allow it to linger in my head too much, I'll start to think like, wow, like, did they not like me because of this or that? And you know, you gotta maintain those thoughts. You have to check yourself before you wreck yourself because I had to realize, like, look, you know, a lot of men just get down on a goddess that, got, that has nothing to do with me. Let me stay focused. You have to redirect your energy, okay? So, someone rejects you, it's nine times out of ten, it's projection. For you, them protecting from, being protected from you or you being protected from them. Either way, okay? But stop taking rejection as a sign, like, it has any anything to do with your self-worth, ladies. That is number one, okay? Again, I have been rejected before, believe it or not. And when I've been rejected, my initial thought is, do you not know who I am? You know, and again, don't allow it to linger in your head because you'll start to question yourself like, wait, am I not beautiful enough? Like, what's wrong with, like, don't do that. Just redirect your energy. Immediately go do something to remind yourself that you are that leader of your pack you are that divine feminine whatever you want to call yourself queen 